So we continue our trek through the second half of Acts chapter 4, uh, beginning today with verse 23. And, de, Apoluthentes, having released, um, theta epsilon suggests it's an aorist passive. My aunt is an active uh, participle, but the theta epsilon trumps my active bit. Uh, so the way we would translate a aorist participle is having, uh, actually this should probably be translated having been released. I was just testing it with the aorist passive, having been released, okay? And having been released, they went to their own, to the idiots, no, to their own, <laughs> not idiotes, but idios, to one's own, idiosyncrasies, um, idiosyncratic. Um, so having been released, uh, they went to their own and they announced, what? What did they announce? Ah, they announced as many things as, so hosa, as many things as, pros autotus, as many things as to them, uh, ho, hoi arche erase, the high priests, kai hoi presbuteroi, and the elders, apon, said, erist, it's aping and erist, okay? But the having heard ones, uh, 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 and, or let's go with and here, and the ones who had heard, uh, sigma alpha indicates it's aorist. My aunt is an active participle, so it's an aorist active participle. S is nominative masculine plural from a kuo, I hear. So, but the having heard ones, or the uh, Ken's rule, if it has the article use who, or which, or that, uh, but the ones who, having heard, now let's bring it on home, the ones who had heard, the ones who heard homo uh, together, um, this is a word that I think Axe likes, uh, Aaron, um, my cousin, Aaron, uh, together they lifted a voice. Uh, this is from Iro, uh, Alpha, Iota, Rho, Omega. This is the somewhat irregular aorist. It's irregular in that the Iota goes bye-bye for no reason, uh, but the Alpha is lengthened to an Eta. That's normal for an augment. Anyway, it's aorist. Uh, but having heard together, they lifted voice to God and said, uh, ape, aping an aorist again. And they said, comma, capital delta, um, having chemistry withdrawal, delta T, or calculus withdrawal. Uh, so this is a quote. Master, notice this word, despota. <laughs> Not a word that I usually <laughs> use in prayer. Oh, despot, oh, despot. Please help me today. Um, probably doesn't have the connotation of the word despot uh, in English. However, uh, it does probably imply a complete submission uh, to God as ruler. And that, 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 stills, that works, still necessary. Master, you are, and I've gone ahead and put in the, uh, the word are here, I think, um, to make, a, make it a sentence. Uh, master, you are... Uh, the one who made, Sigma Alpha is aorist. Uh, this is a nominative masculine singular. Lu, sa, 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 san. So it's a nominative masculine singular. Uh, having made, the one who made, I'm sorry, the one who made uh, the, the sky, the heaven. Uh, ton uranon, kai ten gain, and the land and the earth. I didn't translate it earth because if you're like me, I always pictured a globe. But remember, this is not, that's not their worldview. Uh, and so the land, the, he the sky, and, and I didn't translate this heaven for the same reason, because we immediately import, import modern cosmology. Uh, the one who made the sky and the land and the sea, uh, there, you have the, there you have the world. Um, the one who made the, the sky and the land and the sea and all the things in them, all the in them things, substantive, substantive use of a prepositional phrase. Verse 25, the one, okay, so this is an apposition. You are the one. Um, you are the one saying, now where's the word saying you're asking? Well, there it is. The word saying is on the next slide. A little frustrating with Greek that you can have the the. Look, I mean, look at how many words separate the from the word it goes with, apon. And I'm sorry I didn't get this to, um, to, to spread out. But apon is what goes with ho. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten, ten words in between the word the and what it goes with. Let me tell you, when I was doing my overview of these verses and translating it, I spent a little time looking at this verse, trying to figure out what is going on here. So it's it's the of the Father of us through the Holy Spirit of the mouth of David to your servant saying one. <laughs> uh, anyway, the one saying, the one who said, uh, by the way, this is an error, so it's having said, the one having said. It shouldn't be saying, it should be the one having said. Um, of our Father, the one saying of our Father, you know, I'm puzzled, what does that mean? Through the Holy Spirit, okay, I get through the Holy Spirit. He's speaking through the Holy Spirit, I got that. Um, of the mouth of David. Um, so I think, here's how I put it together. The one saying, the one who said, I'm sorry, the one who said of the mouth of David. So this is a genitive of, of source. The one who said from the mouth of David. The one who said from the mouth of David, your servant. The one who said from the mouth of David, your servant, um, the father of us, that is David, the father of us. So this is genitive in apposition to David which is understood as genitive because uh, in, uh, it's, a, it's a loan word, so it doesn't have a genitive ending. This is just messed up Greek. I mean, I don't even sure if this is good Greek. Anyway, it's difficult. Um, so the one who said, through the mouth of David, the father of us. Okay, so see, it's, it's not in the order I wanted to be in. The one who said of the mouth of David, and who's David? David, the father of us. He said it through the Holy Spirit. And David, the servant of you, having said, now we get the quote. Why? Hina T. Notice that this is Hina and it's T. Hina is in order that and T is Y. So in order that Y. <laughs> um, but we'll just translate it as Y. Why raged the nations? This is a quote from Psalm 2, as I said in the overview. A C is the key to a hidden sigma. Sigma alpha tells me it's Eris. There's the augment. Why raged the nations? Why have the nations raged? And the peoples conceived kana, vain things, um, empty things. Um, why? What? Why are the nations opposing God's anointed? Why are the nations plotting against him? Of course, originally this would have been the earthly king. Uh, but of course, the Christians have understood it spiritually of Jesus in relation to the rulers who put him to death. Why have the nations raged and the peoples conceived vain things? Uh, verse 26, the kings of the earth, the kings of the land, the kings of the land presented themselves. They have, they have, they have arrayed themselves. Um, and the rulers gathered together into the same against the Lord and against the anointed of him. Um, anointed of him, the earthly king in Psalm 2, but here, I translate it Christ because clearly, in a spiritual sense, in a fuller sense, in a sense is plenier, um, Luke is taking it uh, as the Christ. Uh, catching up here, uh, Sigma Alpha, this is Arist. This is Paristemi. Um, it's a me verb. There's the standing right there. A standing. A stand, stand in presence of. Present yourself. Um, etymological fallacy I'm doing there. Um, the rulers, they gathered. Uh, they were gathered together. Again, I missed it. Messed up. This is a passive. Uh, theta, eta is passive. Uh, so were gathered. they were gathered together. The rulers were gathered together. Um, so this is an eris passive indicative. That's an augment. It's soon ago. Uh, ago's been messed up. The alphas lengthened to an eta, and the, the gamma of ago has been breathified because of the theta. This is, this is perfectly normal. Um, so it's an aorist, act, uh, aorist passive indicative third plural from Sunago. They were gathered together into the same against the Lord and against uh, the Christ of him. Whew, I think we made it. Um, so see you tomorrow, Lord willing, with more verses from Acts chapter 4.